pain, pain, pain. Pain is something we cyclists can embrace. Some even enjoy it. Some maybe more than others though. But sometimes we get pain in places that we shouldn't. Pain in our legs is something we can expect. But pain in our shoulders and neck is something we can avoid. So coming up are our tips and tricks to hopefully be able to help you extinguish that pain in that area. Ooh, right, let's get started. A lot of niggles and pain can be resolved through a bike fit. So what I would suggest is get yourself a proper bike fit before you even buy a bike. If you've got too wide handlebars or you've got a too big frame, this can all lead to strain on your shoulders and your neck. So first off, get a proper fit. But what if you can't get a bike fit? There are plenty of other ways to make sure your bike is set up correctly. If you have a turbo trainer, this is a great way to check. And why not place a big mirror in front of you so you can check the changes you're making? Or you could use your phone or a camera to record yourself whilst riding, then look back at the video and see if anything needs changing. First up, you're going to want to set your saddle height in the right position. Now, if you are struggling with this one, we have done a video on how to set up your saddle height. Next up, you want to look at your shoulder and neck position. Now, you don't want to be compressed like this, as it'll put a lot of strain in that area. You want to lengthen your neck, like a tortoise out the shell. So when it comes to your arm position, what you want to try and do is keep a nice, bent, relaxed position. If you've got a too straight and rigid position, what will happen is all the bumps from the road will transition through the bike into your arms and causing stress in your shoulders and neck. So be relaxed, nice bent arms, and that will hopefully alleviate some of the pressure and stress coming from the road. Now, if you're struggling to get a nice comfortable position, it might be because your reach is too long, because if you've got a too long reach, that will close up your neck. If you've got too short, you'll feel a bit cramped. Another thing worth checking is your saddle to bar drop. If it's too vigorous, too much weight will be forwards on the bike. So worth checking those two points. Another thing worth thinking about is your saddle angle. If your nose is pointed too far down, your body will slide forward onto the front of the saddle, creating more weight onto your arms, which will then create stress and strain on your shoulders. So find an angle that works for comfort for your bum, but also that takes off some of the weight on your arms and then your neck and shoulders. So I quite like mine basically level, but find out what works for you. It's personal, this one. Now that you've worked on your bike and position, we need to look at flexibility because this is really gonna help you on the bike. A lot of pros will include yoga to their training. Now I'm not saying you need to be a yogi and do wild poses, but they definitely will help you. That's, that's definitely not gonna help you, Hank. No. But here are some exercises that will. Work on a range of movement. This can be done in a few simple exercises. Turn your head and hold for three seconds. Chin tucked in, keeping spine in a neutral position. Three times to the left and three times to the right. Rolling shoulders. Increasing range of motion in shoulders and neck. Stretching neck. Head to 45 degrees, chin down and push head straight down through the chin. Hold eight to 10 seconds. Now that you've worked on your position and your flexibility, we need to look at your riding. This all comes under the header of being relaxed. Relax, Hank. I'm trying, man on. Try harder. From your hands to your arms, neck and shoulders. Just relax. This will also make your ride a lot more comfortable. Also, the grip on your handlebars. Try and have a nice light grip and move hand positions. Don't be lazy and slump. This all it takes practice, so take your time with it. So that's it for how to avoid sore shoulders when you're riding. If you have any tips for us, please leave them in the comment section below.